Alright, today we're going to look at how to do uh, object bake. Um, we could start off with picking a cube. It doesn't matter uh, where you place it. You could uh, add a texture, like a white texture, and apply it to the object. That's a cube. You could click uh, render bake object. I would prefer rendering it in JPEG. Put it at 8-bit. Go options and put it on the highest quality you could possibly put it on. That's 100. And then put your destination where you'd want it to render. I'd want to go desktop, find my tutorial, and click OK. After that, it'd be width and height of the picture. Uh, we could leave it at 512. <clears throat> if you want full resolution, you want to go 1024, but we'll just keep it at that. If we bake it, we get these uh, these six six cubes. We could jump into Paint and um, click where we uh, exported it. We open it and we have the six cubes. Uh, let's just number them. This is our first. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth cube. We can uh, save it again, jump back into Cinema 4D, and uh, open up our uh, saved cube and drag it back right into there. Actually, let's rename this to like color one. Just for the difference, pop it back into here, and we have it numbered. We could just apply it to this cube right here. And we could see how it affected the entire cube, how we number. You, you guys could do it way more, not just with numbers. You could add your own like logos or whatever you want. And it could not just be a cube, it could be like a sphere or any other sort of object like we could possibly even try it with a sphere pop it onto there bake object sure we'll keep it at that and there we go we have all these now we jump back into our file and we have this this is what we have we could uh, open back up paint you guys could use something more I don't know more pro you could say if you guys want, but I'm just going to keep it simple. We could number these. That doesn't look like a 2. Let's keep it 2. Let's number these. We're going to... Let, let, let's save as. So Cinema 40 knows that we'll keep it at that. Pop it back into Cinema 40. And then we could just apply it to our sphere. And there you go. Uh, you guys could use it for way more than just, you could apply it to texture of like uh, letters or any other sort. But that's how you bake your objects.